So for a while now, I've been wanting to do some more casual videos of what I'm up to in the studio. So that's what this is. It's perfect to watch with a cuppa or to have on in the background while you paint. I'll be sharing what I've been working on, my newly curated watercolour set and how I'm using these with my gouache paints to inspire new ideas. I'll be working in my Hannah Muller sketchbook for this and I already have a few pages filled up with gouache and wanted to see how it would do with the watercolour. But before we get to that, this is the illustrated page I worked on for October's Patreon tutorials. I don't know about you, but I'm constantly snapping pictures of things that inspire me. And there's so many lovely things that I never have time to turn into a painting. So I wanted this style of page to be somewhere that I could squish a few different scenes. I tried to include a nice variety of paintings to give it almost a scrapbook feel where there's a bit of everything kind of smushed in and I really love how this turned out. My favourite has to be the path in the top left, although I'm quite partial to the spiky teasels too. If you want to have a go at painting the scenes from this page, you can check out my Patreon page where you'll find real time tutorials for all of these. With that finished up, let me show you what I've been doing with watercolours. I used to paint mostly with watercolours before I tried gouache and to be honest I love my gouache so much that I don't think I've picked up my watercolours more than a couple of times in the past few years. I have a few different sets of watercolours and I had the idea of combining all of the colours that I'm most drawn to in a single palette to use for backgrounds for my gouache paintings. I kind of love rich dual tones, so all the colours I pulled from my different sets mixed together to create beautiful blues, purples, rusty oranges and rich greens. I put the colours in my Daniel Smith palette to keep them all together and I used them to paint some loose backgrounds. Nothing special, this is just with a dark blue, a green and the pale gold yellow to create an interesting light source in each one. And then I can work over these with my gouache to create little scenes like this where I use shapes and patterns in the background to inspire new ideas. So let's swatch out the colours in this set and then I'll show you some of the lovely mixtures that I'm excited about using. And then I'll paint over one of the backgrounds with gouache so you can see how they inspire my little fantasy landscapes. So across the top here, I'm going to have the cool colours. You'll notice I have plenty of greys. I love a nice Payne's grey. These are a combination of Daniel Smith, Prima and Utrecht watercolours. And across the top here, we have Prima Blueberry, Prima Blackberry, Daniel Smith Jane's grey, Utrecht Payne's grey, Daniel Smith Moonglow, Utrecht Hooker's green and Prima's Key Lime. Down 
On this side I'll put all of the warm colours and I love these so much and I can definitely say that they're influenced by the current autumn colours appearing outside. This is Daniel Smith's Buff Titanium, Prima's Banana Cream, Prima Pumpkin, Daniel Smith Quinacridone Gold, Prima Apple, Daniel Smith Indian Red, Prima Pecan, and Daniel Smith's Quinacridone Rose. So the brightest blue and pink I don't really care for by themselves, but their vibrancy makes some beautiful rich purples that I can adjust a little depending on the mixture, and I can dull them with some of the many greys that I have. I'm a sucker for a nice blue-green combo, and the bright blue and key lime green make some beautiful mixtures with the darker blues and blue greys. But I do have the pale yellow and buff titanium if I want warmer greens and turquoises. The dark blues I could just swatch all day. Tint them with a little pink, a little green, or a little turquoise. These colours are just so moody and gorgeous. And all these dull reds give us some beautiful warm browns when mixed with a little blue. But where the colours shine most is in the uncontrolled mixing and blending that happens if we just put them on the page and let them do their thing. I could look at these mixtures all day, which makes them a great option for creating a page of beautiful loose backgrounds. I mean, just look at those beautiful blues and greens. I painted this background the other day when I was experimenting with the mixes, and I had originally thought that maybe it was a pale path leading into the distance with some warm autumn trees and a rich night sky. But then I turned it the other way around and saw a warm sunset over red gold trees reflecting in a vibrant blue pool. The more you look at these backgrounds, the more possibilities that you see, and that's what makes them such a great creative exercise. So let's take a look at this page and see if we can't fill this little background here at the bottom left. I've grabbed a few tubes of gouache, this is Prussian blue, olive green, titanium white, primary red and primary yellow. The shapes in this one kind of remind me of bulrushes, so I knew this would make a great little overgrown water scene. I used a little white gouache to add in the waterline and pick out some ripples. some golden backlit bulrushes along the top edge and then set about filling all this dark area with a few interesting things.
This lovely dark background is perfect for adding some pale green silhouettes over the top. So I'm going to add some small groupings of simple shapes here. Some tall grasses, little leafy bushes, whatever I feel like to fill this space with a nice variety. I wanted to add just a little pop of colour to the scene, so I mixed a dark purple with my Prussian blue and primary red, and I used this to create some shapes tucked in amongst all the green. My last step is nearly always to add a few deep shadows, so that's what I've done here, making sure I've got that nice contrast between light and dark to finish it off. So perhaps the next time you're not sure what to paint, you'll give this method a go. You'll be amazed at what you can create from your imagination. Until next time, happy painting!